Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. So today I bring you guys loot from 10 hours of killing ancient wyverns. And the goal for this video is very simple. I just wanted to see how much profit we can make every single hour of this 10 hour and then of course see if we can get lucky enough for that visage drop. Now this Wyvern Visage is currently at a price of about 19 million GP and it is 1 in 10,000 and although I have killed a couple thousand Ancient Wyverns in the past, I actually did a 1,000 Ancient Wyvern loot video a few years ago, I really still haven't hit close to 10,000 so if we do happen to get a Visage in this video then my luck will just be continuing, I mean I've been getting really lucky lately in these loot videos so let's hope that we can see something other than Granite Boots or a Granite Longsword and those are the two other rares that you can expect from these ancient wyverns. The granite longsword is 1 in 600 and the granite boots is 1 in 600 as well but the problem with that is the boots are only 400k and the longsword is all the way down to 20k. Those items have certainly seen better prices and better days but I guess they're just not used as much as they used to be. The only other rare we can expect from this video would be the elite clue scroll which is 1 in 350 so I'm hoping on average killing about 55 wyverns every single hour will at least get one or two elites from this video and of course we'll save the casket for the end. Now these ancient wyverns, a little bit of history on them, they have been in the game since September 7th, 2017, and their drops were buffed about five days after their release, and ever since then they've just kind of always been the same. Requiring 82 Slayer to kill them, these can only be found in the Wyvern Cave on Fossil Island, and they are the strongest variant of all the wyverns in this cave. And if you're curious of the different drop tables of the wyverns, I believe it's Spitting, Taloned, Longtailed, and uh, the Ancient One, then feel free to check out the channel I do have a video on all of the wyverns so it kind of just shows the drops from good to bad and just like in those videos I did pick up every single wyvern bone from these ancient wyverns in this 10 hours so I did want to make sure I picked up every single drop even the worst ones but as you'll see in the bank tab throughout this video there's going to be a lot of banking clips obviously there really aren't too many bad drops I mean the numulite you don't have to pick up I think if you wear a ring of wealth that will be picked up automatically but I just prefer the berserker ring bonus and other than the numulite everything else is pretty on point. We have a lot of alkables, rune items, runes individually, and also a lot of herbs, rune ore, things like that. Very useful items for uh, mid-level and high-level Iron Man accounts. While I was killing these things, I was world hopping occasionally, doing this uh, about three days total, and I didn't really see too many people here. Uh, all the people that I did see were killing the lowest level wyverns, and they were all on task. Now, I do think there is a task area only for these ancient wyverns, so if you don't enjoy killing two at the same time, uh, then you can definitely go over to the task only area area if you're doing Slayer while killing these things. Personally, I was just always curious of killing them off task if it's a good AFKable money making method. You know, there's group Iron Men now and so many things coming into the game that you do see a lot of people on multiple accounts and uh, I personally play on two or three all the time when I'm online. So the fact that I don't have to look at my screen too much and I can still consistently make what I hope to be at least one mil an hour, that's what I'm really hoping from this video and I think that's pretty good and definitely worth checking out. You'll occasionally get some fossil drops as well and I did pick those up. You have the rare ones, small, medium, and large, and you can trade these in for Numulite or other things, but I just decided to keep them in the bank. As it goes for the resource and supply drops, you're always going to have those unnoted sharks and super restores, so if you ever want to extend your trip, then feel free to be drinking and eating all of those, but I did decide to bank all the super restores since it's actually a lot of money, and you'll see that towards the end of the price check. Similar to Wilderness Bosses, uh, they do have Onyx Bolt Tip drops at Ancient Wyverns, and anytime you get those, it's a guaranteed 80 to 120k so that's really nice to see on the ground and not to my surprise I did encounter one death through the uh, making of this video I guess I was just not paying attention too much but these do hit pretty high so you gotta be sure to be eating your food actively I was using really good gear for this video full just this year as well as a dragon fire shield and you can improvise on the gear there's people here that bring the wyvern shield or just a different shield in general but either way I just wanted to tank as much hits as I could and as it goes for my offensive bonus uh, the Dragon Hunter Lance is definitely best in slot here. So if you want to use that here, if you can afford it, you'll get as many kills as you can get per hour. I think it out uh, la I think it out DPSs everything else. So around hour four into the video, I did receive a pair of granite boots, and that was a pretty nice rare to see. It was the first of the video, and that was a one in six hundred drop. And as I mentioned earlier, the price of that is about four hundred k. So it was really cool to see that, but it wasn't what I wanted. I really wanted to see the visage, and I know my hopes were high, but ladies 
and gentlemen, when you least expect it or even when you really expect it, because I had a good feeling it coming into this video, we did get the Wyvern Visage. 18.9 million GP, uh, pretty much ensuring that even if we picked up nothing else throughout this whole video, that we made 1.8 mil every single hour, which is just incredible. So this was around hour four or five into the video. I still had half of the video left, so why not just go for another Visage at that point, you know? There's nothing better than getting a rare, uh, even if you're not an Iron Man, and you know, whatever account you do play on, it's just a huge accomplishment to see a Visage and see it drop down from your collection log. So I was really happy with that. I think my overall uh, Wyvern kill count from this cave in general is about 5,000, and I believe 2,000 of those were ancient Wyverns. Now as it goes for the food that I was bringing, because that does come into the supply cost for this video, I was usually bringing anywhere from 10 sharks to 5 Karambwans. Uh, other than that, when I ran out of Karambwans, I was just bringing like 15 sharks, a little bit of anglerfish here and there. What I do regret uh, is not bringing a Saradoman Godsword, because I was using a Dragon Dagger the whole video, which, I mean, it is good DPS. There were cool times where I'd spec like a 43-43, remind me of the old days, but other than that, I think SGS is definitely uh, viable for this. You just have to time it correctly so that you don't take a huge hit since you're not going to be wearing your protected shield from the uh, Wyvern Breath. So just time it right and you'll get all the HP and all the prayer back. And other than the Visage and the Granite Boots, we did receive a Granite Longsword, which, you know, 19k, but at this point I was just so happy. I mean, receiving all three rares from the Ancient Wyverns is incredible. And I was already making a pretty good consistent money just without the rares, which we will see in the price check. I wanted to make sure that I showed things individually. We have all the rares in one price check and all the normal items in the other. Even receiving 100 silver ore and Celestris seeds and just very strange drops, 67 nature runes, you know, seeing those drops without wearing a ring of wealth on is all in the thousands as well. So I guess my RNG is really good on this account right now. I should probably be doing Corporal Beast or Corrupted Gauntlet or something really profitable. But right now I already have a list of what I'm doing next. I got about four monsters that I'm going to try to do this week. Uh, I know I've been slacking on the videos, believe me, but I do have a lot of video ideas and I've been really enjoying the game more lately. So you're going to be seeing a lot of videos coming on this account. Finally finished a long-term Infernal Eel video on my Iron Man and you guys will see that soon as well. As we are getting closer to the price check, uh, I did receive an Elite Clue Scroll, so that's a good way to wrap up the video almost. That was my first and only one, which is okay with me, because you never know what we can get from that. But overall, this 10 hour was a tremendous experience. Um, I really enjoyed this one. The price check is here, and it's time to see how much money we made from 10 hours of ancient wyverns. The very first price check coming out to be 5 million GP. A lot of that coming from Volcanic Ash and just other really nice resource drops. And as it goes for the second price check, this is pretty much everything else from the normal drops. It does come out to be about 3.3 million. So we have about 8.3 mil made just in normal drops. But the real question is, how much did we make from the rares? We have the Granite Longsword, the Granite Boots, and the Wyvern Visage. So this all in its own price check does come out to be 19.2 million GP. So if we go ahead and we add that on to the 8.3 mil in normal drops, then it looks like we have made 27.5 mil from 10 hours of ancient wyverns. Looking at about 800k an hour just in normal drops without receiving any rares. Receiving 2.3 mil from the elite clue scroll though made it so that 30 mil was made in 10 hours of killing ancient wyverns which is absolutely incredible. I mean I think this was a great experience, a very laid back monster to kill. And that is all for now. Thank you guys for everything and until next time, Mr. No Sleep, out.